In the previous videos, we installed and configured our Kubernetes cluster with one master node and three worker nodes. In this video, we will install and configure Calico as our CNI or container network interface. First, let us get the latest binary for Calico CTL. You can go to their GitHub release page and check the latest version and change the, this URL accordingly if you want to install the latest version. You only need to do this in the master node. Now to make it executable, now we need to move it to a path. Now we moved it to a, a directory that is already included in the path. Now we actually have to create a configuration file for Calico CTL so that it will know the data store type and the configuration file location for our cluster. So this you have to change it according to your username. This will be your username if you do echo and dollar user. So now let's create the file. Everything seems all right. Now let's save it. Now we need to create a directory under itsy and move this configuration file to there. Now we need to create the Tiger operator from their official YML. only need to do this in the master node and for the custom resources first we need to download the yml file because we earlier we used a different subnet for the services and ports while initializing the cluster hence we need to open the file and change the network cid here so now let's get the file If you see the network CIDR, this is different. We actually use different CIDR. So we'll be using this one. Now we need to apply this custom resources so that Kubernetes creates all of this. So these are created. 
now we'll check the namespace calico system the ports are getting created successfully This might take a while. Now everything seems to be up and running. Now let's check the cluster status from our host machine. Now these are in all ready state. And if you want to get more information about the nodes, then you can do this command. It will show the IP address of the nodes. Also, it will show the runtime as container D. In the next video, we will see how to reset a cluster or remove everything. See you in the next video. Please like this video and subscribe if this video was helpful. Thank you.